Hi everyone, welcome to Take a Walk with Me and Garden Update. Today is Wednesday, August 12th. Current temperature is 80 degrees. High is 87. Rain chances at 70%. Humidity is down just 2% at 85%. Makes it hot. So how is everybody doing this morning? It's nice out so far, but when the rain comes in, it seems like it comes in pretty fast whenever it does. And then it rains for a little bit and it's gone again. But we've been getting quite a bit. Uh, compared to last summer, last summer it was awful. We didn't get hardly any rain. So what's everybody having for dinner tonight? We're having leftover uh, tater top pie. And I'm looking forward to it. Because <laughs> that stuff was good. Um, I'll probably, I, Joy said there's not as much as like we had the, when we made it. We ate more than half of it. So uh, I'll probably have to fix something. I don't know what, like a, Maybe a, let's see, that has tater tot. Something like maybe a pasta, uh, little mix or something, you know, just like, I don't know. I don't think I want any rice. I'm going to figure something out to go with it. Of course, we got some potato salad we need to eat in there. I was thinking out loud, <laughs> you know. Trying to get the fridge cleaned out. I've been, I really need to go through everything in there. I hadn't done that in a little while, but I've been cleaning it out some of the past few days. <clears throat> That's one thing I hate doing. I hate cleaning out the fridge. <laughs> I don't know what you're going to run into. Let's see, what else? Tonight, you won't, don't want to miss Logan's Awesome Snack Reviews. Uh, if you want to see what we're trying tonight, just look at the preview of the review from yesterday. <clears throat> Where I go over the nutrition facts and everything. Everything tonight, except for just a little bit of sugar, uh, is, you know, super healthy. Which that's what we're trying to, you know, gear towards. Just, you know, like mainly healthy snacks. I haven't seen the hummingbird yet this morning. It came over here and buzzed right around, uh, right above my head when I was looking at the plants here in these containers yesterday and then took off up, <clears throat> up towards the house up there on the hill. It's usually, well, since it started coming around, it's been here every morning a couple times. I don't know why I didn't hear yet. Now that it knows there's nectar up there for it. Well, we can drink the water and we'll look around the place. thin those out down there oh and uh, oh I was so disappointed uh, you know I've been bringing this the carrots over there in every night and putting them in here on the stool and bringing them back out in the morning well sometime yesterday afternoon something ate all the tops again I just can't win with carrots you know I, I just you know I'm about ready to give up on carrots as you can see, you can see what happened. See what I mean? They won't grow right like that. Ate pretty much all of them. That one's still hanging in there. Try to get some dirt around it. 
But here I babied these and took them in there every night, brought them back out here. Then just in one afternoon, comes out here and eats everything. And it must be a rabbit, I guess. I don't know. I hadn't seen any chipmunks lately. I'm, I'm afraid that the hawk has got uh, a bunch of these chipmunks around here again. Because they were eating. If y'all have seen them in the videos, they would be out there eating. Like there's a beautiful cardinal. Uh, you know, they'd be out there eating every day. I just don't see them, and I don't see them where they live. Let me see. I, I thought that was one that's a bird. I was trying to see if I... There, the one lives in this stump out here. I can't tell if that's it or not. It might be just a piece of the stump sticking out of the top. I'd like to see them just to know they're okay, you know. I'm getting some green peppers. It's, I mean, yeah, green peppers over here is getting big. And uh, I had a couple banana peppers I've been showing y'all. They're getting bigger as they go along. And I pollinated a yellow squash, yay, this morning. And they were, I had to wait for the bees to stop fighting around, getting it, and fighting around. Where is it? There it is, there's a bee still in it. many yellow squash maybe five or something zucchini is a different story I've had tons of zucchini I don't know how many about 14 or something like that 12 the beans are still growing good you can see I'm sorry sorry there <laughs> Beans are still growing good. Got this squash growing around this, this way. Tomatoes. banana pepper's trying to come out of it. I don't know why it's been like that. Oh, this looks pretty good. This tomato's starting to take off some. That one looks good. Brussels all look good. There's going to be a bunch of them. I had to tie this one up some. I had to tie quite a few things up yesterday where they're growing. And this one has a bunch in it, just like the other one does. A bunch of them all clumped together there. Hey, the Gretel has a flower right there. I see one on the Ghostbuster, good. They had not been putting as many flowers out lately. And I finally got a pepper starting to turn red here. I don't know how good you can tell. But it is. I'm trying to wait for them to all turn what their color they're supposed to be. Before I pick them. That chocolate one hadn't turned yet. Had to tie this up a little. I'm hoping the miracle grow will make it get a little bit uh, sturdier stock. Hey, there's a flower. There'll be another one. I'd say 95% or more of the flowers that I use the uh, toothbrush, the electric toothbrush on, have turned into eggplants. Plus, the bees are all over these too, so it's a combination of things. Look at all these, it's so pretty. All these peppers. turning yet they're 
chocolate bell peppers. Yeah, there's a flower. A ghostbuster. There's plenty of plenty of eggplants. It's been unreal. Cabbages look pretty good. Starting to grow some more. Just some seed in there. See how everybody's doing over here. My sunflowers just like killed over. I got it pushed up in there, but they look like they're rotting or something. Where's all the bees this morning? Oh, there was one right by my hand. <laughs> I didn't even see it there. Oh, there's everybody. What kind of bee is this? So there's bees here, they're just being kind of quiet. <gasps> oh, they're enjoying it. Look, them two kind of had a little, not a little fight, but they kind of went at each other there. Still no sign of our neighbors up here. I don't think anybody goes on vacation that long right now. I, I just, I guess, got a bad feeling that he's, that the one or more of them sick. Yeah, it's humid. Yeah, usually I'd see a chipmunk out here. They've got, got a place down in this pipe here. Haven't seen it in a while, and there's a hole. Is that it? There's a hole right in here somewhere it would duck down in, too, in the grass here. Like a little escape area. And I don't see any holes. I don't see any fresh holes over here. Well, there's one. Down in there is one of their holes. And see, there's grass like growing in it. So that tells me they haven't been traveling through that, I don't think. So I'm kind of worried about them. Well, you stayed on the outside of the little fence, or on the inside, I mean, today. Y'all look really good. That's good enough for now. Check the rain gauge. No, not real, any real rain. It's probably just from my spray. Well, it did rain though, but only for about 20 minutes or something like that yesterday. Enough to steam it up. Hey, stump flower number two. How are you doing, everybody?
Oops. That's a well long thing there. These are what I'm always looking for. That's the bush that was here that Scott cut down. I'm trying to make sure it doesn't grow back. And this is the only way I know to do it without hurting the other stuff that's growing here. Y'all all look so good. I'm so proud of everybody. For hanging in there. Never quit. That's my motto. Where is that one? Got it. All right. Some other kind of bee there. What is that one? That's a wasp looking. I'd like to get a good picture of that one. It's done here. Well, it just took off. Darn it. Ooh, I see a big old. Those marigolds do have a smell to them. Why they don't like it. Okay. That's enough pruning on you today. Everybody looks great. Yeah, I am concerned about these people. I don't know how you would find out. They don't speak to anybody. I mean, I'll, if I see them walking or out there, I'll say, hey, how you doing? And they'll say, hi. But I never, you know, we never actually have full conversation uh, I just had a conversation the other day for the first time with this guy and he's lived there for years it's not that I don't try but the neighbors are you know they just want to keep to themselves here pretty much and it's always been that way in this neighborhood I don't know why maybe it's because the houses are spaced pretty far apart most places and they just feel like they don't need to I don't know I'm, I'm friendly to anybody y'all that know me I mean you know that I I like talking to people I hear a little airplane it's out there every day I think it's people learning how to fly because I don't think the same person would be go every day to, to fly. I, I don't think, you know, for one thing, it'd probably be kind of expensive. Not that it wouldn't be fun to every day, but I just, I just have, we've got a small airport uh, in the area. And we've got a big airport in the area too. But the small one, you know, you would imagine that they would, uh, have flight lessons so that's what my that's what I've always thought it was here's a dragonfly let's try to see where it's going it's coming towards the stump nope Ooh, there's another one I'd like to get a close up picture of dragonflies but man you can't get near to them they're too fast and they're too jerky like they they're not like a bumblebee or something that'll just kind of fly around you and land right beside you. Good thing. Look at that sky.
Look over there. That sky looks weird. I tell you what, if y'all have noticed my thumbnails, I've got a Galaxy 8 phone that I use for everything. Uh, you know, I record on it, I take pictures. But if you've noticed, my pictures are really clear and crisp, and the colors are just so bright. I just love the camera on this phone. I mean, I was considering uh, getting an upgrade, uh, but I don't have this one paid off yet, so I would have had to basically get another line with another phone, and that's like $103 or something like that, they said, with the phone payment and the $45 unlimited data thing. You know, so I can't do that. So I just need to wait until this one's paid off if I want to update. I mean, upgrade. I want the one that zooms in and stuff. But I'm not. I'm. I'm not unhappy with this. I'm happy with this phone. So I just decided to put that on the back burner. You know. Times are too tough right now to add a bill on. I don't know what's going to happen. Oh, man. Sticky. Here we got, buddy. Drink plenty of water. I've been trying to drink more. It'll make you feel bad when you start getting dehydrated. Well, I hope y'all enjoyed today's walk and garden update. Please press that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. And hit that notification bell so that you get all my videos as soon as they come out. Uh, later on, watch, I might have a... I think I got jokes for Kitty's Corner if I want to do that. And uh, we'll have uh, Ask My Tablet tonight. I'll look and see how much I've got for, uh, I'll see if I've got enough yet for tablet time. I kind of don't think so, but I'll look and see. So, oh yes, uh, that's right. I got to do ad time. So, wow, we might have a few extra videos today, y'all. I'll have to see how it goes. Uh, I about forgot about ad time, but we did get our paper, our news and neighbor last night that has ads in it. Uh, so be able to do that all right everybody i appreciate you watching so much and thanks for everybody's support uh, please share this with everybody you know all right everybody i'll see you later on god bless